find a matrix that multiplies x y z to give y z x okay again let's think through this so um, we have a point x y z and uh, we need to get we need a matrix that multiplies this matrix so we can get y z x now clearly uh, since the result is a 3 by 1 and uh, this second guy is a 3 by 1 uh, that means the matrix that multiplies so if this is a 3 by 1 and this is a 3 by 1 to be able to multiply two matrices uh, I need to have three columns on this matrix and since the result is a 3 by 1 the rows have to be 3 so I need a 3 by 3 matrix to do that and let's see what that is so I need the answer to be Y so uh, the way matrix multiplication works is row times column so I need a row here when I multiply it by the column I would get a Y so the number that multiplies the Y is the middle one so the Y component has to be 1 to get me a Y and the X has to go away so that's a 0 and the Z has to go away so that's a 0 now on the second multiplication I need a Z so so the last one would be a a 1 to get me a Z so it, it has to it has to multiply a 1 and the X and the Y's have to go away so 0 0 because this gets me 0 X plus 0 Y plus 1 Z which gets me this Z here and then the, on the third one I need the X to multiply by a 1 because I need to get an X and then I Y and Z have to go to 0 so this is gonna be X plus 0 Y plus 0 Z which would get me this X here so this would be my matrix P the red one and then uh, uh, and then the second part of the question asks uh, what's the matrix Q that multiplies Y Z X uh, to bring it back to uh, to bring it back to X Y Z well we could do the same exact reasoning um, I'll try to be brief here since it's this almost the same exact question so uh, so here I have uh, Y Z X the answer and I need to get back X Y Z okay and I need to pre multiply it by some matrix okay again the X has to multiply a 1 at the end so this has to be a 1 and the, these two would go away so I would get 0 Y plus 0 Z plus X and this would get me this X here and then uh, I need the Y to survive here the first cell multiplies the Y so that's a 1 0 0 so this would be a Y which is this and then I need the third one to be a Z so the middle one would have to do because the middle cell multiplies the Z and I need zeros here so so this would be uh, sorry I just killed a bug here uh, so uh, zero 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 so this would be uh, zero Y plus Z plus X which would get me the Z here now if if you think about it um, the uh, I could I, I so th so my my vector my matrix Q would be the green one another way to think of this is uh, if I need Y Z X to give me back X Y Z uh, if I pre multiply uh, a P by P inverse uh, P inverse times P would go away would give me the identity matrix so I would get X Y Z but then I would have to multiply Y Z X by the P inverse so what I'm trying to say Q is just P inverse to get you that result back that does it You there, Ben?
You got it? You got this one? Yeah, that's the that's what I got. The Q Q would be the inverse of P, right? Uh Q would be the inverse of P, that is correct. 